Hey Food Network, welcome to Cammie's Cake Company. Come on inside. owner of Cammie's Cake Company in Eudora, Kansas. We opened up our shop in February of 2011 on Valentine's Day weekend. It had been a dream of ours for a really long time. I baked from home for a really long time and it was just the next step for us. We do a lot of corporate events. We've done a lot for the KU basketball team, weddings, birthdays. Everybody's different and we like the weird customers. The weird customers are, are who we are, so. We like different, we don't like your, you know, your mainstream stuff, the, the weirder the better for us. My husband comes on the weekends, he's a teacher, so he can come on the weekends and then the evenings and help me out. But other than that, it's just, just me. I have many jobs. I'm a dishwasher, frosting engineer. I haul in all the ingredients. I pretty much kind of run the place except for baking. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think he wishes that I had another employee. It's free, you know, cheap labor. The pay is really horrible. I mean, I work for my wife, so I get a few cupcakes here and there. It's it's fun. I I like it. I I don't know if he'd say the same thing, <laughs> but but I think it's fun, and we get to hang out. You know, I do complain a little bit about her being kind of a tough boss, but I get to spend time with the one I love, so. Who even says that? I just am self-taught. I went to pastry school for a year. Um, they didn't really teach the stuff that I wanted to know more about, the sprinkles and the glitter and the bright colors, and so I just taught myself. I think that it allowed me to do whatever I want, because if it didn't work out, who cares, you can eat it. Pink champagne is our number one flavor. Not even a close second. Everyone loves it. It has glitter and sprinkles and it's pink. Our last big event that we had, she had kind of like a summer theme and she made, they were all like ice cream related and popsicle related, um, like a bomb pop and orange sickle and a root beer float. We do a lot of cocktail inspired. Um, we did white Russian and margarita and cosmopolitan and um, our Guinness and Bailey's. There's an endless list of cupcakes that I want to make. It just, we do them by season and, you know, I'm excited by the time fall rolls around that I get to do pumpkin chocolate chip and sweet potato. I guess my favorite one would have to be the Guinness because, you know, dump a little Guinness in the frosting, take a little drink. I made with love. <laughs> I think that we like to experiment with flavors. We like to, you know, do stuff outside of the box. We're not big city people. We're Midwest, born and raised in rural communities. We have two residential ovens. For a long time, we only had one because we couldn't afford the, to get the electrician out here to hook up the second one. I mean, we have boxes, an oven, mixer, that's about it. And we still can make cupcakes to compete with anybody. We just get along and we kind of know how to work with each other. Um, we also have a baby on the way, so. Haven't made any pickle, and peanut butter <laughs> cupcakes yet. <laughs> that might come down the road later, but uh, like I said, I think we have an edge because there's three of us competing in Cupcake Wars instead of just two, like everyone else. So I think we have a leg up on the competition already. <laughs> and we have a plan and a good chemistry. Um, Team Sanro, pretty good, so. Team Sanro. We've been Team Sanro from the beginning and we just, we know this is what we have to do. We love it and, well, I do. He loves me, so, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, this is something that, it is our life, you know, we love it. <laughs>